Hello guys, welcome to the channel. In today's topic, we'll discuss about the streaming replication. So actually, this is the second part of the uh, Postgres replication series. So where we'll discuss about the streaming replication. So let us understand uh, first uh, the replication architecture. So there is a client or application which connects to the master or slave server. So let us understand what are the processes are uh, there which runs in the background uh, for the streaming replication so master will generate the val logs okay so there the process which is uh, present on the master server is val sender the so val sender is basically read all the val records and it will push to the slave server on the slave side there is a val receiver it will read all the changes which have been sent by val, val sender and it will then apply to the uh, standby server slave server okay so remember these two processes are very important when it comes to the streaming replication while sender on the master side while receiver at the uh, slave side so these these are the background process which will get generated at at the back end so now let us see what are the parameters which are required for the streaming replication so so you can see on primary we uh, we will require these parameters so listener address basically is a star uh, where it can accept with ip with dns anything val level is a replica so it will log all the operations required for the replication so that's where uh, replica hot standby is basically to uh, read the standby server and uh, on the primary we have to create the replication user the username can be anything password can be anything just we have to remember that we have to create user with replication the parameter is how to modify the pg underscore hba file we have to add the entry of the standby server in my case the ip is 192.168.1. and uh, on standby server so we have to use the pg base, uh, base backup command Okay, the primary, uh, the 10 is my primary server and user is rep user, the port is 503D-D, you can pass any uh, uh, any data uh, data directory, uh, like which is the standard one, where lib, Postgres SQL data and hyphen F is a format which will be plain text, hyphen X is basically what are the well method we are using, we are using string, so that's why we have passed S and uh, again we have to pass the hyphen P, P is for Postgres and the hyphen C is for creating the replication slot. The so replication uh, slot to retain the val val file so that it doesn't get while in case file is offline or maybe not available. In that case, it will retain all the uh, val log val files uh, which is used for replication. Uh, it will not delete the old val files. Uh, how to monitor the string replication? So first thing is like. This is the main command so we have to see the pg stat replication it will show what what is the um, standby ip what is the status what kind of uh, 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 replication it is performing sync or async then uh, select pgs in recovery is the command where we can check our database is in recovery or not recovery on the primary it should uh, the output should be f false and on the uh, standby server it should be true the value should the output should be true and the command is pg select pg current val lsn we can check the what is the current lsn on the primary instance and we can then verify whether uh, the receive lsn and apply lsn is the same or maybe it is lagging behind so on this stands and standby server as we may as we have seen in the earlier architecture diagram where we have the val receiver val center is on standby server so we select pg last val receive lsn this will tell us what is the val uh, last val uh, received from the primary and what is the applied one so we can use a replay lsn for the to check whether the, uh, which val is applied which will show the lsn number as well so uh, the third uh, the last command is uh, it will give us a timestamp uh, timestamp when the last log was uh, applied and uh, one more uh, last thing is regarding the uh, by default postgres is using the sync asynchronous uh, replication so if you want to convert the asynchronous replication we have, we can use uh, ultra system set standby synchronous and standby names to star but the only drawback is in case of uh, standby server is not available 
then it has to wait for specific duration so this is very cautiously until and unless there is a, a requirement of uh, synchronous then only we have to change this value but by default it is asynchronous and um, the last command is of failover so suppose in uh, in case of any disaster or maybe you have to do a failover on the standby server so these are the two methods which we can use we, uh, pg ctl promote and hyphen d you have to pass the uh, data directory of this uh, path of the postgres database server on standby and the second um, second one command is we can use a pg promote com command on the psql prompt so here you can see uh, we can modify this is the primary instance where we can modify uh, the uh, listen address we have okay then we uh, we we need to have a val level which is replica and hot standby okay these values are already changed so uh, these are okay so this is the command which we'll be using uh, pg base backup we have used the wrap user okay this is the one so i have already created the uh, this uh, repli uh, um, command okay so this is already uh, working so now let us check uh, the status so these are the steps which i have already performed just you have to delete uh, you have to replace the files with the base backup uh, location so i have already uh, deleted and moved the files to the uh, original data directory after taking the pg base backup on this extra from pg start replication okay so you can see the sync is async state so you can see replay time as well you can see the uh, uh, val sender client address the second standby so while receiver this is the one so which is the user which is replicating rep, rep user okay straight is streaming uh, streaming you can see the send ls and write ls and flush ls and so this is my, uh, matching exactly because as there is no changes happening uh, currently so you can see so we have the table name uh, called uh, test okay so you can see currently there are six records currently now let us uh, first check the current lsn so this is our current uh, uh, lsn uh, uh, which is present now let us check on the um, uh, one more command was there okay so let us check play select pg underscore is underscore in underscore recovery okay this is giving us false that means this is writable not a standby server and this is the current val lsn okay so you can see these commands are on the um, uh, primary okay and let's check the command as you can see uh, so this is the sender host you can see what was the val received as we have already checked uh, the val which was there on the primary you can see on the primary we have this val correct and this is the one which it has written plus as there are no command okay pg start val receiver on this standby you can see the uh, slot name is pg standby uh, standby okay which we have clearly created and this is the lsn uh, which has been written flush okay and you can see the connection info then we can check the val receive which is the val receive this is the val receive okay then we can also check the which is the one applied okay this you can see this is receive which is had been up which has been applied already so now let us do one thing uh, so we can check the command so let us try to insert some value on this standby so see let us see what error we get so let us insert value 7 you can see uh, cannot insert value in the read only transition the same command will try to uh, insert on the primary okay now let us see let's copy this command now this has been run now let us check on the primary the 7 same on the secondary you can see it was 6 now it is 7 now let us check the what was the current uh, 36 c8 correct 
now let us see what what is the receiver lesson you can see it has changed then what is the um, well replay lesson you can see this is the one so it is matching this is the uh, lesson which got changed this is which got which it has received then it has applied this lesson that's why the value is 7 so so this uh, so this is all about the uh, current topic uh, thank you guys